Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Check the link in the description box below by raycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 20% off your order. Hey Greens and welcome to the episode I call I Try Things. So today we're going to be customizing two new types of figurines of hair adorables. In this series I pick up figurines or dolls and I try to customize them and in other instances I'll pick up trends here on YouTube and give them a go. I've been having so much fun customizing My Little Pony figurines in past episodes, so if you're interested in these, make sure you check the links down below. However, the first custom doll I ever did was a Hair Dorables. Now, even though I absolutely loved the results of this one, something else caught my attention. Look at me, I was like, <gasps> So when I went to Toys R Us the last time here in Canada, right next to the Hair Dorables, there were Hair Dorable pets. I'm not quite sure what to expect from Hair Dorable pets, other than the drawings that I'm seeing on there. In the back, we are getting bunnies and kitty cats and horses, but I feel like there's a drawing of a dragon, potentially? Maybe? I'm not sure. You and I, we will find out together. Now, since I'm not sure if it's a dragon or not, let me know in the comment section below what do you think it is. And since you're looking down below anyways, those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I may wave a sharp pointy thing at you. And if I need reinforcements, I'll do it. Don't make me do it. And yes, I will be customizing two, but for now, let's go ahead and open one of them. So it means we have to put the other one on. Over there. And let's go ahead and open our Hair Dorables mystery box. It does say there are 24 pets to collect, that's quite a few, and that in each box we get 8 surprises. We'll see whether or not these surprises are customizable too. Okay, so it says we pull. Oh, okay. It's like an advent calendar. Interesting. All right, and we can bring this down. That is cute. I don't want there to be any spoilers, so I don't know what's in here. We're just gonna put it away, and we can just push this like that. And so this mystery box is divided into two sections. The first part has part one and two. I'm going to guess that they are either the accessories and the comb, perhaps? Since hair adorable dolls are really well known for their luscious, poofy hair. And then the next part, which says open me last, I'm guessing is going to be where our pet is going to be. Please let it be a dragon. I don't even know if there's dragon. We will take a look at this after. All right, so let's open our first one. And what is that? Oh, is that a cute little beret? That's adorable. And then stickers. We get stickers in bows, hearts, and stars. And the beret is plastic. Number two. These really come out really easily. Our next surprise is, oh, a brush. That is weird. Not weird because it's a brush, but weird that it is really stiff and the little bristle things are really close to each other. Hopefully it won't ruin the doll hair. Next surprise is, oh, stickers. Oh no, don't tell me this is the sticker of our pet. Don't tell me that's our pet, because then that would be a spoiler and I don't like that. Look at me. I don't like it. Oh, what's that? I didn't even notice this fell off, but it seems like a ball of yarn. So I'm guessing we're going to be getting a cat. Spoiler might be true. <sighs> oh, salt just came out. No, salt don't come out just yet. It's a mystery box. But Jackie, they gave spoilers. I know, I know it's not me. If they truly did give spoilers, I'm going to be not impressed at all. Let us go ahead and open our pet. Oh my God, they really stuffed it in there. That's what he's. I wouldn't be upset if we get a cat, but let's see for real. And it is. Oh my god. You are adorable. Oh, hair adorable. I get it. I promise. I have a decent IQ. Maybe that of a six year old. Here is our first character. I really don't want to change too much about it. Oh my god, we're going to have to customize this. This is really cute. I'm getting slight regrets. But we're gonna do it anyways! Because once we commit, we commit. We don't go back on our words, Grains. Look at me. We don't go back on our words. I absolutely love the color scheme and the way that she looks. I'm not too crazy about the little hearts around her face. I might want to change the markings, but then again, that's just me. The eyes are really well done. I don't want to change the eyes. I do, however, want to say very clearly, I really thought that it would be bigger than this. 
This is tiny. It's barely my finger. That's how small it is. For some weird reason, I thought it would be the entire length of the box. I was like, okay, that would be very close to the My Little Ponies. But the answer is no. No. It's itty bitty, teeny weeny, itty bitty, tiny. Very tiny. Which is going to make customizing quite difficult. And for those of you wondering, look at that. The head is very squishy, which means that technically rerouting hair, if I wanted to change the hair color, should be easy says me. In case you don't remember, this is what happened when I tried doing hair for the My Little Pony. And so technically out of the eight surprises, three of them are cardboard slash stickers, three of them are plastic accessories. Oh wait, let's try the beret. How does this go here? One eternity later. Like that? Oh, there it is. Meh. Next! Let's open the second one that we're going to be customizing. Compartment number one. And stickers, which are exactly the same. And what are you? What the heck? I'm going to guess this is a tiny hat and we just kind of wrap it around one of the ears, I think. Number two. Another sticker picture, brush, and a carrot. Okay, so I'm guessing we're getting a bunny. And the big reveal. And it is a bunny. Ermy Gert, she is adorable. Uh, of course, adorable. She is cute, charming. I'm trying to find synonyms. 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 Okay, I am 100% sure that this bunny pet hair adorable is the companion of the one that I did in the first video. Let's check her card. And she seems to be a cook. And if I'm not mistaken, my- Oh, there she is! So this one here is actually the hair adorable I got and customized. So that is really neat. So I feel like it would be absolutely wrong if we didn't customize it to be the perfect companion to the previous one. The fact that her hair is both a minty and kind of baby pink color really just bring out her eyes, which have a bit of a purple and pink to them as well. She is a little too normal, so we have to still make her a fantasy type creature. Because as it is, yes, I mean, she does have hair, but, 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 she has to be belonging to a wood fairy elf type character. And yes, again, the head is pretty smushy. Look at that, smush head. And so as you can see, the guide shows us that we can get anything from dogs, cats, bunnies, even a cute little lion, and they seem to have a variety of two from each single one. However, the one that has my heart, my salty little heart, is the absolute bottom row and starting with Sahara who is a beautiful looking horse type I think and then we have Harlow who seems to be a pony Gemma who seems also to be a pegasus and last but not least Zip I don't have an idea what Zip is I'm gonna stick with dragon but even though we don't have any horns nor wings I'm not sure exactly where to categorize it I'll be really honest, Grades, I did not expect them to be this tiny. I'm sitting here staring at them for the last 20 minutes, wondering what the heck I can do with something so small, especially considering that I have sausage fingers and it's practically the entire thing as it is. It's okay, we're gonna keep going forward because we made a commitment. And I made a commitment to you, Grains. If I promise you something, I will honor that promise because that is the Salt Shaker family deal. You subscribe and I honor you. I am at your service. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our kitty cat. Bunny? Yes, how can I help you? I don't need you right now, so I'm gonna put you aside. Yeah, that's cool with me, just be gentle. I'm the boss. You don't tell me what to do. No, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. And so our first victim, I mean custom, is called Picasso. I think the idea of this little pair adorable pet is so that Picasso is actually an artist and all these little splatters and markings are supposed to be paint. But for those of you new here, we don't just keep things as they are. We love fantasy creatures, more often than not creatures of darkness. But today we're going to stick with the idea of cute, but still fantasy.
And so for this custom, we're going to be using epoxy sculpt, which is a two-part type of clay that when you mix it together, it becomes hard like a rock. Since Picasso's colors really are blue and white, I figured it reminded me a little bit of butterflies, more specifically this one here on the screen. And how cute would it be to give our little Picasso some butterfly wings? Picasso? Yes, Jackie? I want you to meet a friend of mine. Oh, I am so excited! Sandpaper. The reason we need to do some sanding is because the epoxy clay will not hold on smooth surfaces. So we kind of need something for it to hold on to. And so after getting over myself in the reflection, because I am very mature, I went ahead and rolled the first piece to make the butterfly wing. The details will be painted later on, but for now I just needed the shape. Now that her wings are in, I figured it would be kind of cute to have little pointy things, you know, like feelers for the butterfly. An attachment to her ear that looked like feelers is what I'm saying. And spikes around the ear. Just don't ask questions, okay? I love spikes, and if I have the occasion to put spikes on everything, I will do it. Okay? Okay. And so here she is. She is looking absolutely adorable. Now we have to wait six hours before we can paint her. Six hours later. And here she is all hardened up. In case you're wondering how hardened it is, here it is. And this is a lot of pressure. And there you go. So it took quite a bit of pressure for me to break it. And obviously the thicker your pieces, the more difficult or impossible it is to break this. Oh my god. So for the painting process, I am using my acrylic paints. And I put a first coat of black. Keep in mind that most of these layers have taken at least two to three coats so that they aren't too transparent and gross. I went with two different blues for the wings. That way it has a little more dimension. And even though I had a detail brush, it wasn't easy. Okay, it wasn't that easy. And my hands were shaking, it's so tiny. We didn't get exactly straight lines, but hey, you know what? It's an organic shape. And that's what I tell myself. For the horns and feelers, I went with a solid black color. Again, I felt like it needed a third color just to add a little bit more personality. And similarly to the heart marking, even though I didn't want to keep it, I ended up keeping it and just giving her extra dots on the head. Er, me good! Here is our kitty butterfly Picasso. What do you grains think? Do you think it's an upgrade or do you like the original version? I definitely felt the need to add a bit of a deeper color just because it's me. And as you can see, here's the before and after. Our next victim, Taffy the Bunny. I find it really interesting that we were able to get Taffy simply because she is the exact model of the first Hair Adorables I did. So it only feels fitting that she would be in the first Hair Adorables pets customization that I ever do. I don't know if I'm gonna make more, but if you grains want me to make more of these, make sure that you get this video to as many likes as you can get. I, I don't know, I'm gonna just check and see. Similarly to Picasso, we're going to take our two-part epoxy clay. Epoxy. I keep saying epoxy. Epoxy. A. And in this case, I still want to keep with the same theme of having a horn and kind of a foliage nature. Because the head is so squishy, it's going to be very easy to make a hole in there so that we can put a toothpick in order to horn, ho hold hold our horns. English. We need we need to do the tuck. And so after getting the toothpicks in there, I went ahead and did the exact same horns that I did for the first hair adorables. So kind of like a tree type twisty thing. Ah, nuts. <laughs> really cute to add a little leaf right on top. I guess an homage to Totoro, that critter right there from a Ghibli movie. And then last but not least, we're going to add, of course, you guessed it, a horn, because why not? And I figured that way it would have a little continuity again with the other hair doorbell who had little spikes right on top of her nose bridge. And oh my god, why are you not going? Please stick. I promise I sanded it. And now we wait for six hours. Six hours later. And again, using my acrylic paints, one of the things I noticed immediately is how much I miss my airbrush. Getting even coats is not that easy with a paintbrush, but holy carp grains, an airbrush is where my heart is. 
The good thing about painting on this plastic is if I make any mistakes, it was pretty easy to scrape it off with a cutter. You know, my shot pointy thing. Yeah, that one right there. Once I got the center horn done, it was time to do an airbrushing with gold paint, simply because the main doll that I did also has a little bit of a gold sheen on her horns. Dry brushing is basically a technique where you put a little bit of the paint, remove most of it, and then brush it on as though it was a not so wet surface. Does that make sense? I am good at teaching. <laughs> And for the leaf, I was pretty basic. I went with a green. And last but not least, greens. I am in love with freckles. I find freckles to be the cutest thing ever. So I definitely, again, needed to match this bunny with her companion. So she got some freckles. Here they both are. Let me know which one is your favorite. Is it Picasso the butterfly cat or our jackalope type bunny taffy? I'm curious. Let me know in the comment section below. I would say my favorite is this one. But wait, we have a sponsor. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Raycon. For those of you who don't know Raycon, I can't say enough good things about it. I absolutely love my pair. They are some of the best earbuds I have ever tried. They really do sound absolutely amazing, and they start about half the price of the other premium brands. They give you six hours of playtime, and in this little case, you can charge it up to four times, which gives you 24 hours. Pairing. A breeze and the design is super compact and noise isolating I mean look you can't even tell I'm wearing them super discreet and not just that but I do have small ears and they give you a variety of different fits so thank you very much I love it so much they also offer some really cute colors to choose from and they also have a 45 day free return policy so you really have no risk by trying them not to mention celebrities like Snoop Dogg are pretty obsessed with them and especially now is the perfect time to get a pair if you were not sure about them because you get 20% off. But this offer is absolutely limited time, so check the link in the description box below by raycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 20% off your order. Thanks Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Hey Grains, Jackie from the future here, and I just got a package in the mail by the Doll Planet. If you remember previously, I seem to have broken all my nails because of my lack of technique of doing um, hair rerouting. And yes, I am wearing glasses. Is this the first time I'm wearing glasses on my main channel? Probably. So I figured I would check out the Doll Planet, what they sent me. They probably feel really bad for me. That's my guess. Is they're like, wow, she really can't use any kind of material. We feel bad for her. Let's try to make her feel better. And the Doll Planet initially contacted my friend Delightful and asked if I would be okay getting a package and I usually don't think much of it but they followed through and they sent me a package so now I'm really curious what we're getting so let's let's find out together what do we have don't hit my face <clears throat> let's find out what's in here okay so we have this stuff and whoa wow whoa oh my god they sent a epoxy sculpt that's so nice. I love using epoxy sculpt. Okay, hang on. Oh, these are heavy. Mine is practically done. Let's rewind at the beginning of the video how much I have left. So this is very welcome. Thank you so much, The Doll Planet. That is really neat. By the way, this is not sponsored, not affiliated. This was just sent to me just because. And then, is that a saw? Demolition jewelry saw. Okay, so let me take my glasses off. We're getting serious now. For those of you who don't know, my friend Delightful, when she does customizations, holy carp, she does what she calls plastic surgery. She removes the limbs from the dolls and restructures them so that they kind of have this creature type look. And so the fact that the doll planet sent me a saw is really cool because now I feel like they want me to do more destructive things. I don't have doll stands. I'm not sure how the dolls are gonna stand, but this is gonna be interesting to try for the next custom. And then, oh, we get more nails. <laughs> oh no, I knew it. I knew this was a pity package. I'll take it though. I am not above a pity package. <laughs> Oh, they didn't leave a note. The Doll Planet, I would have loved to hear from you. So we have different colored hairs and a rebrooting kit. And that's basically the kit I absolutely ruined with my um, attempt at rebrooting hair. Let's see what's in there. 
All those hairs are pretty. I've never seen this before. This here is called Metallic Sky Blue. This is perfect for a pony custom. And we have a periwinkle blue. I love purplish gray colors. I debated getting my bangs dyed in a purplish pink or a grayish pink or a grayish purple. What's this? I'm not sure what this is, but I'm sure I'll find out. They look like scissors, but they're not. Okay, I don't want to break this. If you grains know what this is, let me know. It's kind of bent this way. And we have elastic hair bands, yes! I'm always struggling getting my ponies hairs into tiny elastics and these are just perfect. You really watched my video and saw me struggling. You're like, yeah, she needs this. Thank you so much for the pity package. I really appreciate it. I am not above anything. This is amazing. Like you have no idea how often I need these tiny elastics and I just have no idea where they come from. And we get the rerooting needles and the um the base. So and these seem to be smaller than the ones I got for myself. So hopefully they will be good for our future ponies. And then we got two kits. One kit is called a sculpting kit. What's in here? Ooh, oh, that's sharp stuff. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like craft materials. I love it. So the inside of this kit has tools that are slightly sharper than the ones I'm used to using. I think it's mostly because it's made for epoxy clay. And I do have a new sharp pointy thing. Holy carp grains. I have like three, four, five sharp pointy things now. And the next kit is called a demolition kit. That sounds like it's made just for me. Oh, ooh, yes. And in the demolition kit, we are getting, what's it called? Nose pliers? No, like thin pliers. I think that's to pull out the hair. And we're getting a very sharp cutter. I am really excited to try this. I feel like our next pony is probably going to be really destroyed. Thank you so much for this surprise package full of goodies that are going to encourage me to be very destructive and for seeing what I'm lacking and helping me get. I'll leave their information down below. Again, not sponsored, not affiliated. If you want to watch the previous customization, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video that YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. Most likely a cash or trash, a review where I get just really salty with products, mostly Crayola. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.